The Grand Canyon University Arena in Phoenix, Arizona played host to M1 Challenge 27 on Friday night. The M1 Light Heavyweight Championship was on the line as Ultimate Fighter 8 finalist Vinny Magalesh battled Russian Mikhail Zayats. For the first two rounds, Magalesh connected on some high kicks and landed some takedowns, while Zayats responded in the second with a low kick. It wasn't until the third that the 27-year-old exploded with a high kick, followed by punches to seal the win. Vinny Magalesh defends the title in scintillating fashion. In the co-feature, American Kenny Garner met Red Devil Sport Club product Maxine Grisham for the interim heavyweight title. Garner relied on his weight advantage, using the clinch and earning a takedown towards the end of the first. However, Grisham would counter in the second with his own takedown and nearly locked in an armbar to end the round. In the fifth, with both fighters visibly tired and another armbar attempt by Grisham, Garner countered and gained top position and rained down punches for the stoppage win. He is now the M1 Global Interim Heavyweight Champion. Coming off a brutal knockout in his previous fight, Arthur Kusainov made short work of Eddie R's Mendy, sinking in a beautiful heel hook just 50 seconds into the opening frame. In a welterweight pairing, Yasubi and Omoto clashed with Port City MMA pupil Josh Thorpe. The 26-year-old shot in for a takedown in the opening frame, which proved to be a mistake as Enomoto sunk in the triangle choke for the win. Opening up the night's telecast, Daniel Madrid needed just 48 seconds to submit the more experienced Tom Galacchio, taking this fight to the ground and locking in the armbar.